Hey everyone and welcome to another Hard Time 4 modding tutorial on the Iron Workshop. In this tutorial I'll show you how to use cosmetic tags and at the end of the tutorial I'll show you how you can use these cosmetic tags to create formable nations. First of all I'm going to create uh, my cosmetic tag mod. I'm doing this just to make sure that my files don't interfere with the base game. So we'll go to Mod Tools, Create Mod, we'll just call it Cosmetic, Cosmetic Mod. This is the version, Cosmetic Mod, Cosmetic Mod. We'll choose whatever, Create Mod, excellent, our mod has been created. The next thing that I'm going to do is copy some files that I need for my cosmetic mod from the base game. So I'll go to the localization folder and in here I'm going to look for a file called cosmetic. Okay, we've got a file here called cosmetic countries cosmetic L and then the, the language. So I will take the English file and I will put it in the localization folder just like it's in the base game All right so localization countries cosmetic L English great the next folder that I'll need is the common folder so let's create that and inside the common folder I'll need the countries file the countries folder sorry and inside of here we have also a file called cosmetic so let's just search for it and I'll just copy this file over here now what this file allows me to do is to give my new cosmetic country my new cosmetic tag a unique color we'll get to it in a minute now I just want to go back into my cosmetic mod folder and I'm also going to put some flag files here so that my cosmetic country has a unique flag. So for the flags I will need the GFX folder and inside of that I'm going to need the flags folder. Just like we have in here and of course I will need three versions of the flag a large file, a medium file and a small file. Now I already have them created here. If you want to learn how to create flags for a country, you can take a look at the appropriate lesson that I have uploaded previously on the Iron Workshop. Okay, so now we have all the files that we need. Now let's proceed to creating our new cosmetic country. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is to give our new country a name. So I'm going to open the country's cosmetic L English file. And in here I'm just going to add my country at the top. Now just as with the regular countries it's best to pick a simple tag containing three letters for your cosmetic tag. So in this case I've chosen HLK LIT because that's what we're going to apply to Lithuania. So I'm just going to put the country tag in here. You can come up with a tag of your own of course and I'm going to name my country so we'll call it the Halo Hello Kitty Republic so it's going to be the Hello Kitty Republic excellent now we already have the flags created so I won't bother with that now I also want to give my country a unique color which will be shown on the map so I will go back to my mod folder I will go to common countries cosmetic.txt and in here I'm just going to copy an existing entry for example like this but of course I will change the tag to my new tag in here so we'll call it like this and we'll give it a unique color now because it's the Hello Kitty Republic I will need something which is appropriate let's say something like this and in here I have to put in the RGB values which is which stand for red green and blue so I'm going to open paint.net and in here if you don't see this just click on more and just copy the values that you see here in R G and B 
So R stands for red, so that's 174. G is green, so that's 68. And last one is 255. Excellent. And now I'm going to save it. So now my country has a unique color as well. Now let's see how we can apply the cosmetic tag to a country. Okay, now since we want Lithuania to become the Hello Kitty Republic, I'm also going to copy over the Lithuania file into my mod. Obviously you can do this with any other country. So let's just copy the history folder in here. Countries. And I'm going to search for Lithuania. And I'm going to copy over. And now let's open this file. And in here I'm going to do the following. I'm going to add the following code. And this is a code to apply a cosmetic tag to your country. Set cosmetic tag and the name of the tag that you chosen for your cosmetic country. Cosmetic tags are not new countries. They're just a visual change to existing countries. That means that when you want to do something with the Halo Kitty Republic, you will still be referring to Lithuania, since the country remains Lithuania, okay? We're not creating a whole new country here. This is just Lithuania becoming the Halo Kitty Republic, okay? But it still stays Lithuania as far as the game is concerned. Excellent. So we have applied our tag. Now, this is the way I'm doing this in the history file. So yes, you can apply the cosmetic tag directly from the history file. And then when the game loads up, the country will have the cosmetic tag already. But you can also do this from decisions, from events and from focuses. And the syntax stays the same. Set cosmetic tag and the name of your cosmetic tag. Excellent. So now before I show you how to remove a cosmetic tag, let's go into the game and see if it works. So I'm going to start Hard to 4. I'm going to go to mods, manage mods. I'm going to enable my cosmetic mod. Done. Play. All right, so here we are in the game. And as you can see, the Hello Kitty Republic has been created it is probably the most powerful nation in the world now and I would really love to see how the, Un the Soviet Union or Germany can take on the Hello Kitty Republic. Okay, so now that it works, let me just show you how you can remove these cosmetic tags in, in case you need to do that. Now again, the syntax works the same in decisions, focuses, events, even history files. So you will just need to use the same syntax if you want to do it. So in here you see that I'm setting the cosmetic tag and if I want to remove it, I'm just going to have to use the following syntax, drop cosmetic tag, yes. And this will remove the cosmetic tag that this country is using. Now, unfortunately, the downside to this is that you can't tell the game which cosmetic tag you want to remove since each country can only have one cosmetic tag at a time. So it will remove the one that the country has now. Okay, so now that we know how to add and remove cosmetic tags, let's take a look at a formable nation in the vanilla game and see what's going on in there and you'll see how the cosmetic tags are integrated into it. Okay, so if I've opened the formable nation decisions file that's located in the vanilla game decisions, formable nations. And there's a lot of stuff going on in here, but if we take a look here at complete effect, you see that basically what happens is that the country that's taking the decision gets a cosmetic tag put on it, and then it gets some cores on other territory which are part of this cosmetic tag. So this is basically all you need to know to create these formable nations. If uh, Sweden is taking this decision, as far as the game is concerned, Sweden is still Sweden, but the player and the game in general will see Sweden called the 
Nordic Union, right? Or whatever the formable nation is. This is what uh, cosmetic tags basically are. They're just a visual mask that you are putting on, a, on an existing country and then you make it look like there's a whole new country in the game. The upside to this is that you don't need to create a whole new country and that could cause some performance issues. So it's like creating a whole new country without actually doing it and not having the performance issues that come with creating a whole new country and having another country in the game. All right, so that is all we need to know about uh, using cosmetic tags and how they relate to formable nations. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next lesson or tutorial on the Iron Workshop. Bye bye. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. The algorithm and me will be very happy. Here are more videos I make. If you like my stuff, consider subscribing to be notified when new content is available. The Iron Workshop lives and thrives thanks to the continued support of my Patreons. If you are willing and able, you can support me on Patreon for just one buck and get access to exclusive and early content. See you around.